Okay, hi guys. So let's uh, continue with our FPG ring. Okay, so in this video, uh, we will learn how to use timer. Okay, so let's say we have push button X not uh, that activate a lamp for five seconds and then the lamp will be turned off. Okay, so how to do that? Let's do it together. Okay, so first thing first, insert push button X not. Okay, X not will activate lamp. So lamp as the output, why not? Okay, why not? And the start button also, the X not will activate the timer okay so where is the timer so here is the timer okay timer duduk sekali dengan counter okay click and then uh, you can see here tmy is for one second unit timer okay tms is for 0 0.1 second okay dia ada pembahagian dia so mudah it's easy to use tmy okay so, TMY start with timer berapa yang you nak guna ni? First time kan? Timer 1. Okay, for timer, the nama dia mestilah start dari 1 sampai lah 99. Okay, for counter, it start from 100 and above. Okay, 101, 102. Okay, so masukkan timer and click enter. And K is the permalan dia berapa tadi? 5 second. Masukkan 5 second and enter. Okay. So, after the timer um, count until 5 second, what happen? The timer will off the lamp. So, how to do that? Okay. Masukkan timer off. Okay. Timer, apa yang off kan lampu tu ialah timer satu tadi. Okay, so the timer will off kan as not. So, let's see whether it true or not your programming. So, debug and simulation. Yes, no, yes. And online, force input and output. Okay, really semua device dulu. So, masukkan input, enter device, X not, OK, and then you are the, uh, OK, X not. Um, on kan X not? OK, tengok timer tengah berjalan. OK, sekali lagi. Off dulu, and then, yes, nampak tak? Bila dia dah cukup kiraan 5, tinggal kosong. Dia dah on kan dia bukakan balik normally close tu. Maksudnya lita tu ke atas. Arus terputus. Dan output akan mati. Okay, tak ada current lalu. So, output akan jadi 0. Okay, jom kita tengok sekali lagi. Akan dulu. Okay, so bila kita on kan. Okay, dia dah, lampu tadi menyala. Menyala sebanyak 5 second. Selepas 5 second, dia akan bukakan balik T, uh, T1 yang tadi. Normally close ni akan putuskan current yang lalu dekat sini. Jadi, why not akan tutup. Okay. Let's try to use counter function um, to the software. Okay. So let's try this example. Okay. So each time the operator push button 0001, the counter accumulate value increase by 1. So tekan 1, naik 1. Note that it increase only when the button first is turned on. Okay. When the accumulated value equals the preset value, okay, example 5, the 
counter 000, contact turns on and output 0500 becomes true. When the operator push the reset button 0002, the accumulate value change back to 000. Okay, let's try how counter works. Okay, first, insert a start input. X not, let's say X not. Okay, enter and we'll activate the counter. Okay, counter is CT. Let's, uh, I mentioned just now, counter must be start from 100. So, we put it 101. And set. Okay. So, count sebanyak berapa? So, we, let's say we put 5. Enter. Okay. And then you put in reset button. Reset button. Let's say S1. Okay. So, after we push the counter button sebanyak berapa kali? 5 kali. The counter tadi C. 101 will activate the output Y node. Okay. So, let's see the simulation. Okay, the simulation. So, online, post input and output, enter device, X not enter device X one. So, berapa counter? Five count. Okay, so, button X not on. Tengok dia betul berkurang jadi empat. And off balik. Tekan lagi X not jadi tiga. Off balik. Tekan lagi, dua, tekan lagi, satu, tekan lagi, cukup lima, cukup lima, the counter will activate the lamp. So, lamp kat sini akan menyala. Okay. Next, reset. So, button X1, on. Reset balik. Okay. Button X Note off Off So I reset balik So X not on Off Okay so jadi 5 balik Okay Okay Please try by yourself Okay Thank you so much.